Welcome everyone! Today's show is called When Tech Fails the Techies. The reason is that uh, this morning I actually had an online meeting scheduled with the CTO of a fairly large company. And uh, you know, we agreed that we would talk on Skype and I would share my screen, show my presentation. So sounds fairly easy, right? Well, think again, you know? Uh, you know this thing about live demo when there is always something goes wrong? Well, today was no exception to the rule. Uh, first of all, when I called, he couldn't hear me. Then we went back and forth a few calls. Finally, we could hear each other. He could see me on screen, but I couldn't see him. And he said, well, look, I'm going to stop sharing uh, my camera so I can actually share my screen and show the presentation. Guess what? I've been using Skype for years and it never happened to me what happened this morning, which is that the share button was nowhere to be seen. So that was like crazy. So we were like, okay, then let's find an alternative because we're resourceful techies, right? So we went on to Google Hangout. And uh, so, of course, because uh, his corporate email account was not a Google account, uh, well, actually, he had to send me via Skype uh, his Gmail account so I could invite him on Google Hangout, which I did. And then when I went from Google Hangout chat to actually wanting to make a video call, I was using, uh, I think, Safari on, on a Mac. And well, guess what? It doesn't play well with Google Hangout video. So I had to switch brother to Chrome, I believe. And while I was doing that, I went, hey, you know, please wait, I'll be right back. And then finally I'm set up and guess what? He realized that his own brother, which was Edge, didn't play nicely with Google Hangout either. So he had to change uh, to another browser. And then finally, hallelujah, we were able to see each other. So of course we were like laughing and smiling like, hey, you know, it's good to finally see your face and making jokes about ourselves, like how techies cannot get uh, simple technology to work for them. But anyway, imagine, you know, how nowadays uh, we cannot live without tech. It's everywhere and it's so, so useful all of the time, right? And not just for the small things, but also for the big things like health. There is a lot of technology involved. So, you know, really in general, technology is very, very uh, good, but today it failed us in big ways. Anyway, in the end, uh, rest assured, it was a really positive meeting, actually very constructive. And I was very happy that, uh, you know, uh, he, he said himself that uh, there was actually a, a, a use case in his corporation that could really use uh, our technology, which is HashApp. So I was uh, really happy about that, <laughs> but it was quite eventful. Um, anyway, it's Friday actually, and I'm also happy about that uh, because uh, since I came back from vacation, the last few weeks have been crazy, like 9 a.m. to 9 or 10 p.m. and then working on weekends, uh, even last weekend. So uh, one of my team today said that uh, I look tired, which I do. So hopefully this weekend I'm gonna calm down a little bit, pace myself, you know, because there's still a lot to do before the end of the year. Uh, so anyway, it's good to see you. In, the, in our daily news today, we talk about two big things. Uh, one being that the FBI has identified the brain behind the WannaCry attack. Do you remember this huge attack? So now we know who it is. So check out our daily news right here to find out who it was. And we also talk about British Airways, which has a major hack as well. So you can also subscribe here. And I'm so happy to see you. I'll see you next Monday. Have a great one.